It's better to burn out than fade away. Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf review. This episode, one of my favorite albums of all time. This is Def Leppard with their album Pyromania. Oh my god, this has to be my top 10 albums of all time. It is one of the greatest albums of all, rock and roll. This album is just perfection from beginning to end. My favorite Def Leppard album ever, ever. So, Def Leppard's a band I've been a big fan of. They were actually the first concert I ever saw was Def Leppard. So I'm just a very, very big Def Leppard fan and I just love this album so much. So I'm so excited to talk about this album today. So let's get into it, track by track, number one, this is Rock Rock Till You Drop. One of the greatest openers of all time, of any album ever, oh my god, I just love that opening riff, it's so melodic, and then it just quickly changes, and it comes faster, and heavier, you know, pure, just hard rock, I love it. The drums here are just great, but one thing about the drums, they're not real. And this is something I've known for at least uh, a couple of years now. I remember when I first found out that the drums were fake and it was a drum machine, I was just so heartbroken because I'm a big fan of Rick. And to find out that basically Rick, he is on the album, but he only played cymbals and hi-hats. And that just killed me to know that he didn't play on this album like in studio. That it was Mutt Lang's idea to make this all drum machine, make it all synthetic. And Rick just went along with it. And that really just kills me, because I think at this time, if I'm not mistaken, he hadn't had the accident yet. So he still had both arms, so he could still have played on this, but he didn't. And that just makes it even worse for me. I think he didn't have the accident. Anyways, that being said, this is still a great song, and it's still a great album. This song just has the most, like, fantastic, just rocking chorus. Great solo, solo by Phil Gollin, and just Joe's voice is just excellent on here. Excellent, excellent. The song gets a little bit repetitive. You know, just rock, rock till you drop, rock, rock till you drop. And you know, I don't like songs that are repetitive, but this is an exception because this is perfection. And that, you know, uh, that ending, that ending, I just love it, man. I just love it. It's too loud, man, too loud. Oh, I just love that perfect, Opener perfect song on a perfect album. Let's go to number two. This is Photograph. Oh my god. Classic. Just classic opening riff. Oh my god. Great song. One of the greatest rock songs of all time. I remember when I saw Def Leppard, they uh, they saved this song for last because it's the best for last. And I was kind of like disappointed because, you know, it was my first concert and I didn't know that they, you know, they do encores. And so I was like, wait, where's Photograph? Where's Photograph? And they came back and they did Photograph. And I was like, ah. This is one of the greatest songs ever. I just love this song. Solo by Phil is great. Joe's voice, again, great. You know one thing I like about this song? The cowbell. I love the cowbell on here. A lot of songs on here have cowbell. I, it's just so addictive. Uh, great song. And the classic solo by Phil. Um, the bass is great. It accompanies the, the drums. Perfectly, you know, he, he's another fake, but and then the backup, you know, the gang vocals that are doing here by the band is just great. This band is one of the best bands for backing vocals, and it just sounds so great, so perfect. It just adds so much to the song, it just, just sounds so powerful. Great riffs here, lyrics are uh, they're really good. Um, like uh, as of recently, these lyrics have meant a lot to me, they really hit home with me, you know, photograph. All I got is a photograph, it's gone straight to my head. I know how it feels to have a photograph of someone. And that's all you have of them. You can't talk to them. And that's all you have to remember them. It just really just goes to your head. And it's, I, have a, I have something like that where I have a photograph of somebody that I look at almost every single day and it basically keeps me going. And so this song really just, it just means so much to me as of recently means the world to me because I, those lyrics just describe my life perfectly. I just love this song. Let's go on to the next song, which is Stage Fright. That intro, welcome to my show. Oh my God, so good. And then those heavy riffs follow it. 
And then Joe, his voice just sounds so raw here. Oh my god. Now, uh, the backup here, the backup vocals where it goes, Stage fright, alright. I didn't like that at first. I remember the first time I heard this album, I didn't like those. It just felt kind of weird to me, kind of out of place. But over time, over the years, uh, I've really come to like that. Those backing vocals. And this is another solo, another great solo by uh, the mighty Phil Cohen. Great solo, great song. It's, what can I say? It's perfection. Uh, number four. Too late, too late for love. This is a great song. And it starts off with these like, these, these sound, sound effects. Kind of sounds like something spacey. Ah, it's really cool. It just adds to the mystique of the song. And then the great riff in the intro. And then Joe's voice, just so passionate on the song. Uh, I love the, the backup vocals again, when they go like, Too late! Too late! It's great. Oh my god. And then the song gets like real heavy near the middle. And you hear that solo by the magical Steve Clark. God bless his soul. Great drums. Again, but not real, but let's get past that. The guitars near the end are just fantastic. I just love the guitars all the way out to the outro. They just sound fantastic. The bass just sounds fantastic. Sav, again, is great on this. It's just a great song. Let's go on to number five. Die Hard the Hunter. I love that helicopter intro. That's always been like really cool to me, that intro. I love how they use effects on this album. Like if anybody else did that, I'd probably say it's overproduced. But no, I think it really was a helicopter necessary? No, but was it cool? Yes. So I'm gonna allow it. It's really cool. Melodic intro, great. Uh, the vocals are great. The Die Hard, The Hunter. I just love that. Joe again is just so perfect. The backing vocals really complement so well with Joe. And uh, my solo is just so powerful here. Again, this is another Steve Clark. Just so good. The guitars are just on fire throughout the whole song. It's pure, there's a point uh, with the guitars and the bass, it's just like musical ecstasy. And it just has such a strong ending, this song. It's like one of the best endings ever. It's just perfect, 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 perfect. And let's go on to number six, Fulin. Oh my god, I love the guitars in the intro. It's like a arpeggio picking. And uh, the vocals here, again, are amazing. Raw vocals by Mr. Joe Elliott. Uh, mesmerizing, crunchy riffs on this. Melodic bass throughout. Oh, I love the chorus. The f f f foolin Just this out of this world solo by Phil Collin again. Great, great, great. And then the rhythm by Steve is just great. You hear a cowbell again on this one, which I love the cowbell. The vocals near the end are just so perfect. It, it just all culminates into this explosiveness that I just love. It's great sound on this one. That was fooling. Now we're at number seven. The classic. This song is a classic. This is Rock of Ages. I mean, there's even a musical named after this. This song is great. This, I think, at one point this was my favorite Death Leopard song. I don't think it is. Maybe it's my second favorite. I have to reevaluate myself. But this song, it's great. Great song, just classic song. I love the the, the intro. I did it wrong, but I just love that. Uh, Joe's vocal is just front and center in this song in the mix. I just love that. It's just a pure just a rock and roll song. He's like, ah, rock and roll. You know, it just, it's just a pure just anthem. What do you want? Rock and roll! You're singing along with it, it just pumps you up. I just love this song. And then here comes the solo by Phil. Great solo. The backup vocals really adding to it. And then, you know, the final verse. Uh, it's just great. I, I know there's a part here where Steve plays and, and then uh, Phil comes in. I think it's, uh, it's the final verses? Uh, no, the final verse of this song. It's it's a solo by Phil and Steve playing together. That's what it is. It's just great. Everything is just great about it. So let's go to number eight, which is coming under fire. Man, great guitar intro. Just so good. 
And then Joe comes in and you hear this plotting riff by Sav. Oh my god, and then Steve's passionate solo. And the backup vocals again are just so good. And it's, oh my god, the ending, the ending. So great with the guitars and the bass just going at it. Oh my god, again, musical ecstasy. Which brings us to number nine. Action, not words. I just love lyrics on this song. Great lyrics, it's so catchy. The backing vocals, it's action, not words. I love that. The solo after the second chorus is Steve, which is followed by the main solo by Phil, which is just, you know, perfect. And Joe's voice near the end is just so amazing. And the final scream, it goes, action! Oh, I just love that. I just love that. And then we are number 10. Billy's got a gun. Uh, I just love the bass in the intro, and it basically it's the same throughout. It's fantastic throughout. Joe sounds so cool here. His voice is just so low and scratchy. And then it gets really high and scratchy. It's just so wrong. The, the guitars are just coming in and out. And I just love the backup vocals. And then in comes Steve solo near the middle. And it just blows me away. I just love how, you know, at the end it's like, bang, bang! And the song is ending, I just love that. And then after that you hear like, these weird like mechanical sounds. Uh, and like drums. It might have been the drum machine that was programmed to do that. But I just think that's so cool. You, you just hear that. And the song just, just fades away. So, uh, what can I say? You know, in conclusion, this is one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. It's just so... So, so perfect album. It's just, it's like, it's amazing. And it just makes me so sad that after this, Def Leppard became what they are now, basically. Uh, the first three albums to me are just flawless. Hysteria, a lot of people love that album. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. One day I'll talk about it. But as far as this album goes, it's one of the greatest things to come out of the 80s. It just, it's one of the greatest albums of all time, just of any genre, I think. It's just fantastic, it's explosive, it has everything you want in a rock album. It's just amazing. It's Def Leppard at their best. To me, this is Def Leppard at their peak. And that being said, you should hear it. Everyone's heard it, hear it again, man. It's just great. So let's move on to my pick of the vid for this episode's pick of the vid, my pick will be Cheap Trick Live at Budokan, the complete collection. Get the whole thing with all the songs on it. I love Cheap Trick, and this live album is one of the greatest live albums of all time. <laughs> you know, uh, Cheap Trick, you know, if you like Pyromania and Def Leppard sound, you're gonna love Cheap Trick sound if you've never heard that. Recommend that album. If you haven't heard it, hear it. If you only heard like the short version, you gotta listen to the whole thing. It's just fantastic. I love Cheap Trick. Great band. But that's it for this episode. Comment below your thoughts on Pyromania. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more reviews. But remember, remember, stay metal, stay devil, stay evil. Alright.